since the commencement of this conference, a lot of issues have been discussed, analyzed, and uh, probably the list of issues flagged already is all comprehensive. The problem, to my mind, is one of drawing the strategies for the future and an action program. In this context, from some of the sessions, the discussion appeared to divide the issues into two broad contexts. One is macro, the other is model-based or modular. And one of the interesting questions that was raised in the session on learning from evaluations is whether these two are contradictory. I would say that it is not a question of contradiction. It is a question of integration. And that is a mighty difficult task. The second point in this context I, that I would like to stress on is the modular approach is country specific and maybe in the context of a region there may be some commonalities but there will be differences also and therefore there is need for utmost caution in trying to transplant the model from one country to the other. The specific differences has, have to be taken into the consideration. This is exactly what the recently published UN Development Report 2010 has talked about, which has cautioned against the idea of transplanting models from other countries. And here the question is one of adaptation. And that has to be very carefully done. Now, I'll take this model approach further and would refer to the Helen Keller model of homestead vegetable gardening. They are working in Bangladesh and they claim that it has been a success. And there is also the USAID funded program of IUIC, infant and young child nutrition program. Here, the point that I would like to clarify, linking these perspectives to Bangladesh context, is the fact that Bangladesh has been doing it long before, about 20, 25 years before. And Ministry of Agriculture had specific programs on that. And in this context again, the issue of sustainability comes up. It has been the experience commonly found in Bangladesh that the model relies on utilizing NGOs for community participation, which is good. 
But the other side of the coin is that as soon as the funding stops after the time bound frame of the project is over, all activities stop. Where then is the sustainability? This issue is very critical in our context and answers must be found. Can there be any alternative? And we have heard also in different sessions the value of community participation in the context of some African countries and also in the context of India. Bangladesh offers an opportunity as well as a challenge for community participation using the grassroots level farmers organizations. We have been implementing when we are still doing it, what they call IPM, Integrated Pest Management. Initially around this concept, we established through the extension department, these IPM clubs. Now these are called Integrated Crop Management Clubs. They are farmers groups and <coughs> Many such groups are very eager to expand their activities into non-farm sector, such as marketing comp, agricultural input, as well as output. This offers, I repeat, an opportunity to use these groups so that the issue of sustainability of actions for the future does not pose a threat. In the modular approach that have been discussed and analyzed, here in this conference, referred to the school feeding programs. And there the country specific examples showed that while some countries have the financial capacity to make it all comprehensive, in the sense that no one is exclu excluded, there is no rich poor divide considerations are just not important. In other countries, that may lead to drawing a line because of limitations of financial capacity. In Bangladesh also, this school feeding program was introduced. But I hear it has been abandoned now. And along with it, there is also the food for education program. It was mainly with the objective of encouraging the poor children to attend the school because under normal circumstances they go out with their parents in the field to help them in the in managing the field crop this has also been stopped can these two programs be again linked with greater stress on nutritional aspects. That is one area that could be explored. Then <clears throat> the conference has underlined the importance of leveraging agriculture, health, and nutrition. Here also the, this, this morning session, that this would be the last, led to flagging the issue of 
in institutional arrangements, which is very important at the level of the government at the top and also at the bottom. At the top, these are divided, these functions are divided across ministries. So the issue of coordination is very important. And that is a problem that has to be solved. Thank you.